Uh, for me, uh, at the moment, I've been doing big pit fishing. Um, my local club lake is sort of a big pit, but at the same time, I don't mind an intricate water also. But you've got to, I like the hunt for the carp. You know, sometimes small and intricate, it's a bit easier to find them compared to a big pit if it's low stocked. My go-to rig is a blowback rig. Um, you can fish it in many different ways. You can have uh, rig rings or you can have ring swivels. Um, but generally it fishes quite well with all of your types of bait, your bottom baits, your wafters and your pop-ups. So I, my go-to rig is a blowback rig. My most memorable capture. Uh, I wouldn't really say I've got one, but obviously my PB um, for my current club late at 36 pounds, I mean, is, is a memorable catch, memorable capture. Um, but for me, it was uh, during a match. Um, I did some match fishing with Paul um, some years ago um, in the British Carp Cups, uh, and it was uh, a fish that we scraped through uh, one of the qualifiers on to get us through to the final. It, it was a completely different experience, something that made your nerves really jangle, and the pressure felt on it was a pressure situation and to catch a fish that weighed something like 19 pound or something like that 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 was a, a capture for me that that meant something My worst fishing experience uh, well that had to be probably turning up on a Friday night after work coming down to meet Paul and it was one of those days where you didn't know whether it was going to rain or not and I got out of the car park and it was just spitting. I thought I can get my gear out and get to the swim. And probably 20 yards from the car, the heavens opened and everything on the barra got soaked. I'm hiding under the trees, praying it would stop raining. And it was at the point where do I go back to the car and throw everything back in to stay dry, or do I continue to my swim? I think I got beyond the point of no return and was a drowned rat and had to spend the whole weekend of an autumn weekend, not even a sunny summer's weekend, wet and cold. Well, that's an interesting question. I think I'm an interesting person, to be fair. I like a joke, I like a laugh, I take my fishing seriously. Um, I generally try to help others. Um, I'm not a selfish person. I, 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 I like to help people. I like to, to try and bring people on. I'm not a well-known angler, but I believe I'm an average angler. I can catch fish. Um, and there's so much bad in the world sometimes, I think I want to try and bring some good. So hopefully I can bring some goodness and some humour. How long have I been carp fishing? I'm currently 39, so I'd probably say in the region of 25 years, something like that. I started when I was at school, match fishing, uh, drowning maggots, like you do, with a float on your local lake. Mine was a promenade lake, public water, turn up, day ticket, drown some maggots, catch some perch, catch some roach, then I saw people catching some carp and I thought, I wanna have a go at that. Fish looked slightly bigger, looked a little bit more technical. Um, and yeah, I moved on from there in my early teens to starting taking it seriously and joining a club lake and meeting some fa fantastic people at these waters that I've now got memberships to. My bait of choice is the LSI from Eclipse Baits. It's a new bait out. Um, a lot of the team that um, I'm currently in have been using it. They've been catching some fantastic fish. Uh, I like the way that the, the, the boil is built, um, the base mix to it, the ingredients, um, something that certainly has appealed to me, and I've caught fish on it. Success is key. Would you say you like that it's a different type of bait as well? Yeah, I've al I was always a fruity type person. I liked sweet baits. Um, I was never really too much of a fish meal, the horrible crabby squid. They just never really tickled my fancy, uh, and obviously, Baits catch the angler quite a lot of the time, but they need to catch the fish. Um, but yeah, going on to some of the, the fish meals has, um, has helped me in my fishing, and, and it's about getting experience and being a bit diverse. You need to adapt to situations, and being adaptable is probably one of the biggest things within angling. Um, location, location, location. 
you're never going to catch something that's not in front of you. On a lake this big, these fish move around and you need to be on them. So I would generally have a walk around. It, it can be busy, it can be pressured, but you can always find somewhere if the fish are away from the pressure, you just sort of keep yourself to yourself and have a wander around and see what you can find. And then your baiting approach thereafter is generally how, how well or how many you can potentially catch at that point. Would you say it's more open water into the middle fishing or would you say it's margin, margin work? Personal preference, you can catch them both. Um, a lot of people do fish at range um, and some people do fish in, in the near margins. It depends what part of the lake you fish. Also, some parts of the lake you, you may well have too much of a shallow water or too much of a marginal shelf in front of you to, to fish to. Um, which virtually your lines will be dropping straight off your rods. But yeah, you can fish all sorts of different tactics. You can't be narrow-minded in your fishing. You have to fish to where the fish are. I don't get that much time on the bank. Um, considering at this moment in time I don't have any children, I live with my partner um, and my job. I work in the NHS, so I'm sort of twice a month um, where possible. I uh, try to stagger it a couple of weekends a month and, and use that time as effectively as I can. Obviously if we've got a bit of our own thing going on I, I can utilise a little bit more time but I would like to have a family and obviously I need to make the most of what I can now because once I've got children there's every potential that that's going to dwindle to even less. Um, so yeah if I've got young young'uns at home um, I'm going to want to spend a lot of time at home with them. But it's important to also have your own time, so yeah, I mean, not often, not as much as many, but at the same time not as few as some also.